bunch of gun laws have quietly appeared in this uh, year's legislative session with surprisingly frequency. And as 11 Alive's Doug Richards reports, they come from both sides of the political aisle. Gun bills have dropped at a rate of about one per day this legislative session, only a few of them from Republicans. But ultimately, that Second Amendment is to protect our right to those guns. Republican Colton Moore has dropped a bill he calls the Second Amendment Preservation Act, designed to keep state law enforcement from enforcing federal gun edicts. It tells Georgia law enforcement that they're only going to be responsible for enforcing Georgia law as it relates to guns. In the first 14 days of the legislative session, 14 bills have appeared that include the word firearms. One Republican bill would stiffen penalties for crimes committed with a gun. The other is Moore's Second Amendment Preservation Act. Democrats have introduced gun bills ranging from requiring a universal background check and a three-day waiting period for gun purchases. One recognizes gun violence as a public health problem. Three bills would tighten rules on the storage of firearms. From my point of view and how I've always worked on gun safety is that it is a public health issue. Democrats Michelle Au and Mary Margaret Oliver dropped two of the firearm storage bills. They say they have sought Republican support. No Republican, in my view, has been willing to have a bipartisan partnership on gun safety. And I think that's very frustrating. Senator Moore told me that Republicans would oppose the Democrats' gun storage bills because those bills would impede adult gun owners from legally accessing their firearms, continuing a political standoff here at the Capitol that has gone on for years. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.